you doing today? Today is Saturday, November 23rd, 2019. It is about 7 p.m. Um, I am coming to you at day 12 post loop duodenal switch surgery. Um, high weight on a scale in April was 406 pounds. Surgery date was 340 pounds. Today, 12 days out, I am 300, sorry, I had to check, 326.4 pounds. Um, so I'm doing pretty good. I'm losing a couple of pounds here and there. Um, took a super hot shower today. It felt so nice. Um, my furnace is out in my house. And I have both electric and gas in this house, and I have two gas fireplaces. So I have one of them in the middle level of my house. And so it warms the house up enough after a couple of hours. But it was turned off for a while, and it was getting really cold. And so I turned up my water heater and jumped in a shower that was about 150 degrees. Okay, not that hot, but it felt great, and I was in there for quite a while, so. Um, I added some more red to my hair, just a conditioning bath, just to kind of give it some more color. It's got a little bit more vibrancy right now. It makes it look a little bit more full, but you can still see all that beautiful silver. <sighs> Getting old socks. <laughs> so, um, today, I had an okay day, um, still nauseous basically on like a constant, however this time it wasn't awful nausea, um, if that makes any sense. So <laughs> I woke up in the morning, had a protein drink the first thing in the morning, and I'd just kind of been sipping a little bit of water. I think that part of my nausea is because I am not getting enough fluid in. Um, this is probably all of the water I've had today. Uh, it's not that I don't want to get in water, it's just difficult. And especially when I get in a protein drink, it makes me full, kind of makes me feel sluggish, and I feel protein is more important. But because I'm not even two weeks out yet, it's probably not as important as getting in my water. So I need to do better. However, <laughs> um, the stevia with root beer flavor, for some reason, it's one of my favorite. It's not super sweet, um, but it has just enough root beer flavor. It doesn't taste awful. It doesn't taste like I thought it would. I thought it would be like really gross, flat root beer that had sat out for too long, but it tastes like root beer, and it's flat, but it doesn't taste like flat root beer. I don't know if that makes any sense. So I enjoy it, <laughs> so that's what I have in this one. Um, just some drops of the stevia root beer in some water, and this isn't even the Nestle water anymore. It's just I keep the bottles and fill it up with sink water and put it in my bedside fridge. So. Just nasty old sink water, but it helps. It's good. Um, I actually have had a little bit of water today. Other than that, I forgot that I had a little bit of cucumber flavored water from the collection. <laughs> um, I like it. It tastes good. I like the cucumber flavor because it's not sweet like all the other flavors are. It's kind of the more like it reminds me of like a, a delicious cucumber. <laughs> so yeah, that works. Um, what else was I going to say today? There's not really much to say. I haven't been doing a whole lot. I kind of feel lonely. Uh, my son is here. It's the weekend. Him and his 21-year-old friend that's staying here, they're just constantly in the bedroom playing video games or watching TV. So yay. Um, husband just got home. I've been alone basically all day. Just with my own thoughts, and it kind of sucks. I wish somebody would come play games or something. I'm bored, and I 
I don't know what else to do. I need to start taking more walks. I guess I could just exercise a little bit. But I was told not to do many core exercises right now and not to walk too much. So I'm just kind of chillaxing, you know, doing my thing. Um, tried playing video games today. If anybody's a gamer, Xbox, my thing is Dirty Diana 69 or just Dirty Diana. I don't have a clue. Anyhow, if y'all want to <laughs> hit me up on it, I'm not really doing anything on there. It's just on. And... I feel like I'm going crazy. I want to go to work, but I don't because I'm still nauseated. But I want to socialize. I feel like everybody at work has forgotten about me since I've been gone. Um, the people that I thought would come see me quite often haven't even reached out to me. So, sorry. So, um, kind of disappointed, but it is what it is. You find out, I guess, who your actual friends or who really cares about you by the people that try to find out how you're doing when you're gone. And not a lot have, so, eh, whatever. Um, again, thanks, Eliza. I love you. <laughs> um, to my friends that aren't talking to me but are watching my videos, thank you. At least that's some form of support. Uh, I don't ask that you reach out. If you don't feel like reaching out, that's fine. That just proves how much of a crappy person I am. <laughs> uh, what else? That's it. That's really, like, this video might actually be kind of short. So, um, oh, I'm kind of noticing a little bit of the skin thing. So I've lost, what, like 80-something pounds since before surgery. And, um, <laughs> I am getting this look. Look at that look. That's ridiculous doggy. Um, I'm noticing there feels like a little bit more skin without the fat, which I'm not concerned about. Not yet. I still have a long way to go. I'm like a, another, hold on, like another 150, 200 pounds to go. I don't even know how much. Um, I don't even know what my goal weight really is. So just healthy, I guess. But I have plenty more to lose. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have lots of skin. So that'll be fun because I like stuff that's pliable and fun to play with. So we'll just have all kinds of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm a weird person. So, okay. Um, yeah. Any questions, comments, concerns, let me know anything you want to talk about. Um, I want to give a shout out. A sh <laughs> I want to give a shout out to a lady on YouTube. Her handle is Shrinking Dixie. Um, I started talking to her last night. She had the same surgery about three years ago and she has a YouTube channel. She hadn't posted for about a year and she posted about a week ago. So I asked her a question and she was uh, allowing me to Facebook her and we talked about a lot. She's very real and upfront. It's great. I'm not going to tell you any of the questions I asked. If you have any questions and you want to ask her, she's a phenomenal person to talk to. Very honest and very open about her journey. Um, I try to be the same. If anybody wants to talk to me on uh, a Messenger or something, you can look me up uh, on my Facebook or just ask me questions on here, whatever. But uh, if nobody ever really sees this, then I don't need to worry about that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being bored with me. And I hope to get back to work soon. I get to go back on the 29th of November. So, we'll see how that goes then. Wish me luck. And somebody come see me. <laughs> Love you all. Have a good day. Bye.